All right, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. Hope everyone has had a good week. Hope everyone has had good luck with the weather. It's been pretty rainy and cloudy here. I have not been able to get out much. Would like to take some more video of Saturn and Jupiter if possible, but that's yet to be seen. This week I wanted to talk about something I get asked very often on the channel. Our question today is by Julian says, can you see planets like Saturn and Jupiter with it, with the lenses that come with the telescope? I did reply yes, but the view is very tiny. I had another comment by I have to return some videotapes. Just saw your video. Please, please, please do that video. I'm planning on buying my first telescope and I need to see if this one has at least an okay view of the planets like Saturn and Jupiter. Thanks. All right, so these comments are in regards to the moon transit in Orion Skyscanner 100 millimeter reflector telescope. Many viewers would like to get a better idea of what they're gonna be able to see through the scope, which is understandable because if you're going to invest some money, you would like to have a better idea of what you're gonna get for your investment. So here I have the telescope website up it's www.telescope.com the orion skyscanner 100 millimeter tabletop reflector telescope is on sale for 99 dollars and as you can see it has a very high rating by 77 reviewers and we have the specs down here below i'm not going to go over all these specs if you would like to pause the video right now and take a look at your own leisure that would be great okay so the first video we're going to take a look at is Jupiter through the 100 millimeter tabletop telescope all right as you can see this is the view through one of the lenses this is the lower power lens that comes with the telescope. As you can see, there is a little bit of light washing off from the planet. I did have the exposure set too high on my phone. As you can see, it just went down. And right after I lowered the exposure, it did go away a little bit. And there you have it. Okay, the next video I'm going to show you is of the 100 millimeter telescope viewing Saturn. So, as you can see here it is. I had to lower the exposure to get it to look right. And there you have it. This is what Saturn will look like when looking through the lens that is supplied with the telescope. I hope this is giving the viewers a better idea of what to expect from this little scope. And there you have it. This is the basic view of Saturn through the telescope. Of course, you can always get a 2 or 3x Barlow, which will increase the size of the planet in the view. Now keep in mind when using a Barlow, it will dim the image, make it a lot softer, and a little more fuzzy if you ask my opinion. All 
Okay, so this is going to be the view with the more powerful lens that comes with this telescope. Okay, so the second telescope we are going to take a look at today is the Orion Starseeker 4 127mm. This is a go-to telescope and as you can see, has a very high rating by the users. we will take a look at the specs here again. If you want to read them, you can pause the video and read them at your own leisure. Okay, this is the primary telescope that I use for most of my videos. Okay, the first video we're going to take a look at for the 127mm is going to be Jupiter. Okay, as you can see Jupiter is slightly larger in the view. You can see a little bit more detail on the planet. I was able to get a better exposure so the planet is not glaring like it was in the 100 millimeter scope video. I hope this video was able to give a good explanation of what you will see while looking through these scopes. Until next time, clear skies everyone.